Hey everyone and welcome back. So I got some news updates for you today, including some, uh, not too much to go over, but definitely a couple things I was actually really happy to see get announced. Plus something from the rumor mill, which I use them a little bit careful with. So I'm gonna handle that, um, you know, cautiously, but uh, it's an interesting one if it does turn out to be true. So the first movie I wanna mention is coming from Sony later this summer, and it's a new 4K release of the movie, The Last Dragon. Now, uh, just like other Sony releases, um, it's gonna come out actually in a steel book which means a regular release will probably come out like down the line. And if you've never seen The Last Dragon, it is a lot of fun. I, I assume the extras would probably be the same as the Blu-ray that came out um, a couple years ago. But that's definitely what I'm going to pick up. Uh, I remember actually going to a screening to it one time in Chicago and Timac was there. A lot, a lot of fun. So yeah, for me, definitely one I plan on picking up. Show enough. Next up, we have a new release coming from Vestron. So the Vestron line is definitely alive and well, set for July 25th. It's the Blu-ray release of the movie, My Best Friend is a Vampire. It does have a couple of nice extras, including an audio commentary track with director Jimmy Houston and film historian Nathaniel Thompson, a most alternative lifestyle, a conversation with writer and associate producer Tab Murphy, and production executive Ken Aguado, Gabby with the Grimsdyke, an interview with actor Paul Wilson, the theatrical trailer, a teaser trailer, as well as a still gallery. And again, that's estimated for uh, July 25th. And uh, the nice thing about it too, is especially with the more recent uh, Vestron ones, they're a little bit better priced. I think it's currently around $18. And usually by the time released, they're, you know, they're maybe like 13, 14 bucks, you know, off Amazon or something. And as always the case with anything I mentioned on this channel, of course, I will link to uh, an Amazon link in my description because you know I'm an affiliate which means if you buy anything on Amazon by going through any link that I have no matter what it is but if you just get to Amazon through a link I provide I get a very tiny I get a couple pennies but you know over time it adds up you know usually maybe a couple times a year I get just enough to buy like a movie or something so I do appreciate it when you do that and the next two releases are coming from MVD and these are definitely ones I am I'm really, really excited about it, especially one of them just because it's a childhood favorite of mine. Coming September 12th, we're getting new releases of Ghoulies and Ghoulies 2. Now, the first Ghoulies is actually getting both a 4K release and a Blu-ray release. Now, Ghoulies 2 will only be a Blu-ray release. I'll cover that in just a second because I did explain why. But the first Ghoulies is one of those films I just love because it's one of those where, like, I saw it so young. I've always had a strong affinity for the original Ghoulies film. So the fact that it is getting a new 4K release, um, it definitely is big news to me and it looks like it does actually have a couple of nice extras including ones that i pretty sure were not even on the um screen factory blu-ray release although it does have those but it also has a lot more now both the 4k release and the blu-ray release will be identical as far as uh, specs and everything obviously the 4k release will just have the addition of the 4k disc with the movie on it but the blu-ray i believe will be pretty much the same and obviously both releases will have a new transfer and it is indeed a new 2023 4k restoration 16-bit scan of the original camera negative of the film presented its original 1.85 to 1 aspect ratio in Dolby Vision and HDR. We'll have its original mono theatrical track and has two commentary tracks. First one is an archival 2015 audio commentary with director Luca Bercovici, as well as a commentary track from 2016 with the director moderated by Jason Andreessen of Terror Transmission. And then the rest of the extras are on the Blu-ray. So that includes a video introduction by Luca Bercovici, Editing an Empire interview with Ted Nicolau. The Mind is a Terrible Thing to Waste interview with Scott Thompson. Just for the Chick Man interview with Luca Bercovici. From Toilets to Terror, The Making of Ghoulies. A photo gallery, theatrical trailer, as well as four TV spots. So the 4K release is priced at $49.95. The Blu-ray is retail at $39.95. Obviously, they'll come down as we get closer to release. And then coming to Blu-ray only, and I'll explain uh, why in just a second. Um, also on September 12th is Ghoulies 2. Obviously, they don't have the film in HD, obviously. Has a uh, 2K scan of the inner positive overseen by MGM. Original stereo uh, theatrical mix. Introduction by screenwriter Dennis Paoli. More toilets, more terror, the making of Ghoulies 2. Under a Magic Moon, interview with Dennis Paoli. Deleted scenes, a photo gallery. 
and the theatrical trailer. Now, as far as a 4K release, because obviously that, and they, good on MVD for also getting ahead on this because they knew everyone's going to ask like, well, why isn't there a 4K release? So they really want to do a 4K release of Ghoulies 2 and they may actually be able to do it. Um, it just, it's not going to happen this year. It's tied up in rights and, and other things. And I think they're maybe even trying to find some of the elements and things like that, but they are working on it. And in fact, I got to give them a lot of credit because even the uh, spine number, which technically would be number three in the 4K line, they're leaving open for Ghoulies 2. But just know that it is going to be pretty much probably not until next year, until we get a 4K release. But I, I, I can't stress how much I actually love the fact that they did come out ahead and just say, look, we're working on it. We wish we could announce it right now, if, you know, but it's like there's a lot more involved. That kind of transparency with a lot of these companies, um, I really think is needed a lot more. So big shout out to MVD for doing that. And again, both of them are due out uh, September 12th. Uh, both Ghoulies and Ghoulies 2. <laughs> Just realized I didn't name the title. I assume you knew what I was talking about. And then next up, um, I do have a couple of interesting tidbits I just want to end the video on. So first up, if you got the 4K release from 88 Films of Hell of the Living Dead, like I did, there were a couple of issues in the color correction on that disc. Um, I think there was actually a couple different issues. Hopefully they're all being fixed. Uh, the main issue was just there was a quite imbalance in some of the colors and things. And they are actually doing a replacement program. They did announce that I believe the color correction is done or just about done. So they'll start uh, the process of, you know, replicating them and everything. They haven't set up the replacement program yet. But once they do, I'll obviously announce it because I need to get my replacement as well. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I guess I got to contact them directly. Hopefully they, they're shipping to the States. Hopefully I can get my replacement disc. But if you did get Hell of the Living Dead, I just wanted to give you the heads up on that. And again, I'll have more details once it's announced. And next up, I got two things from Screen Factory. One of them is uh, an interesting thing. The other thing is a, a rumor, which I hope is true. It potentially... It makes sense if it is true, so I, I'm, I'm hoping it is. Let's do the downside first. Um, so apparently, now I have no way to actually confirm this, but I think a lot enough people have now said it that it looks like it is indeed true. The 4K release of The People Under the Stairs uh, from Screen Factory is apparently Region A locked, which is nuts. Um, I 4K should not be region locked. I mean, at this point, because we're sort of holding on to what potentially could be the very last physical media format for movies like you know region locking right now should not be a thing now i didn't see it directly but supposedly they did announce that they're aware of the issue they're not going to do any reissue or anything because technically the release is for the region a market so licensing wise there's actually there's no reason for them to do a replacement it's just a bummer for people who are obviously outside of region a who really want to get it and they can't unless you know obviously release comes in another country now they did say that they're not going to they're going to make sure that's not the case going forward on any future 4k releases but the fact that it had happened at all is kind of really upsetting i don't like to see it so i do want to give you guys the heads up especially obviously for those of you outside of region a who are looking to get the 4k release of the people under the stairs um, man, I'm so sorry that this is the case. Hopefully a company in the UK um, or something is, you know, is going to be putting it out and you can have more options, which I really, really hope is the case. And then moving on to a rumor mill, um, actually two, um, one of them I believe could be Screen Factory. The other one, I don't know. But the one that might actually be an upcoming Screen Factory 4K release would be one of Sam Raimi's Dark Man. Now that would be fantastic on a multiple, on a multiple levels, not just because I absolutely love Dark Man, but also the fact that you know, the original Blu-ray release of Darkman, this was one of their early releases, and that was either right before they started doing new transfers or it was just when they first started, but the transfer on that Blu-ray was still an old HD master. I think it was the HD master that was actually created for, like, the DVD release. So it had a lot of those older issues as far as, like, artificial sharpening and things like that. So Darkman is in big need for a new transfer, and if they're doing a 4K release, that is fantastic news. I hope that is the case, and and because I want some dark man love, you know. So it's like you know, let's kind of boy, that's gonna be an interesting one to clip, you know, for anyone who wants to. So hopefully that is something that might be coming later this year. 
And again, hopefully it's not region locked for the love of God. And another 4K rumor that has come up. I don't know who, it could be Screen Factory, it could be somebody else, I don't know. Thanks to a buddy of mine for giving me the heads up on this. We actually might be getting a 4K release of the Monster Squad at some point, which would be fantastic news. I would love a 4K of the Monster Squad, and hopefully maybe we can even get a 4K release of Night of the Creeps as well. You know, get some more Fred Decker films out there in 4K. Obviously very, very rumor at this point. Um, I, you know, I keep an eye out for any news on that front, but I figured it was a nice one to kind of mention. I finally just want to end this video with a couple of things. I'm sorry we've sort of been a little MIA lately. Um, a couple of things happened. Um, my schedule massively changed, had a lot of stuff I had to deal with. So I apologize on being so infrequent with um, responding to like comments and things. So don't be surprised if even though it's been like a week or so, that all of a sudden you start seeing replies to me for stuff that you posted, you know, a week or so ago. I'm going to try and play a lot of catch up. So again, I'm sorry, just bear with me. But yeah, a lot coming. I'm, I'm again, I'm so sorry when there's, you know, when I have to kind to go MIA for a little bit. Definitely let me know your thoughts on all of these announcements. Oh, there are too many, but definitely let me know your thoughts either way. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.